in a time. You guys ready for this? The first question. What made you get behind the camera being a female in a male dominated field? Number one, I was super, super shy, super shy. Even now you put a camera in front of me, sometimes I'm a bit like, uh, I don't, damn, I forgot my angles. Other times I'm out here, the sauce is dripping. So, you know, it just depends on my mood. The other reason was because it was something different. There was no female photographers. I always like to do something different. I always like to stand out. Being a female photographer at the time when I was 17, it was definitely different compared to like what else I was around because whenever I was on set, the whole crew was men. The artists were men, the managers, men. The only women that you would have were the stylists, the makeup artists and the models, that was it. I feel like that kind of set me apart from everyone else because I was pretty much like the only girl photographer. Yeah, it was at the time when grime was kind of looked down upon. This was like 2009, 2010. Grime wasn't how it was today, it wasn't accepted. No one cared about what we were up to, which was quite beautiful because it was like our own little thing. So that gave me so much opportunity to get certain shots that people will never ever have. And because generally I was more talented in the behind the scenes as opposed to in front. I've always been cool with that because from young I always used to say like I want to be the person in the picture with Beyonce and Jay-Z and people are like who's this girl like I always see her with Beyonce, I always see her with Jay-Z, like she was with Puffy the other day like what does she do? I just like to be associated with people that are successful. I felt like being more behind the scenes gives me the best of both worlds. Like for example one time I was with an artist and like they couldn't get out to go get Nando's and I was just like, oh, that is long. Imagine I could just go to Tesco's. That, I don't know what I would do. I don't know. I actually don't know what I would do. Could I go to Tesco's like all, all like, Lami, please. I couldn't imagine my life being like that. So restricted and having to always think about things before I do it. So I like the freedom of being behind the camera as well. Plus I can't twerk. So <sighs> I can't have it all, you know? The second question was, which obstacles did or do you face? When I was younger and I was doing photography, I didn't really have that many obstacles. And obviously when you're a girl, like, and you're surrounded by a big, like, load of men, they're always gonna be like, oh, let Ashley go, like, let her through, she's all right, she can stay. So I remember, like, when people were like, oh, close set, everyone's gotta get out, except for the director, da 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 You know, just be like, oh, can I stay, please? And they'd be like, yeah, yeah, Ashley, you're fine. Yeah. All the other photographers gone, I'm like, yeah, bye. <laughs> I faced obstacles more when I became a director. The way that I became a director was very, very fast. I interned at a production company that I really, really liked. And one of my inspirations, she was signed to that. She is signed to that production company. I kind of just went there and thought, you know what, let me intern now, get to know everyone there, so that when I'm like really directing and I've got a massive show reel, I can go to them and be like, yeah, look, boom, boom, boom. So I did the internship and on my second week, they asked me what I want to do. And I said, I want to direct. So they was like, cool, stay here. And I was like, huh? Wait, hold on, wait. Cause this is supposed to happen in like, in like five or six years and it's happening now. It happened super quick for me. And as soon as I stayed with them, my intern was in February and I directed my first label video in April. And I had my second label video in July. And my third one was this year, April. That's when I really felt the obstacles against me because a lot of people didn't understand how this girl that just popped up and started directing, how is she getting, you know, these kind of budgets? She was interning uh, like a week ago, so what's going on? But that was kind of tricky because it was kind of people's egos against me. And I'm talking about people that are like on my team, people that are helping make this production happen. So that was very tough. That was very, very tough. I remember I did a shoot last year and it was like the worst experience I ever had. I was just like, I don't even wanna direct. I didn't work with labels after that until April this year and that happened in July last year. So yeah, that really affected my confidence. It's all about your confidence, I would say, because being a woman on set, predominantly your crew is gonna be all men all older than you, been doing this for like 20 years plus. You come along as a, a young 25 year old and you've got all, the, all these men, this little female 
and it's kind of intimidating on both sides I would guess. I just have to believe in myself basically and it's hard because when you're chucked in a situation so quickly it's kind of like okay wait I've got to believe in myself that I'm a director but I don't even know how to be a director but I have to learn on the job and I have to act like I know what I'm doing when I have no idea what I'm doing. So you have to um, have a really strong support system and you have to just fake it till you make it literally that's the only thing I could say and it was hard it was very hard and it affected me even up to this day now I still don't really like doing label videos I'm trying to work on getting out of that little place that I'm in <laughs> lot and of course the other obstacle is that I've had mandem try and move to me all the time which is like oh okay please allow me but obstacles are there for a reason there's always a lesson to be learned so bring them on man Another question is from Psychology. So I like that name, you know. Once you upgraded your camera, did you keep your old one for B-roll or other use? I bought a new camera recently, which I'm shooting on now, which is the Sony A6500. Sony A6500. That sounds better. I'm new to Sony. It's a whole different ball game. I started out with a Nikon when I was doing photography at the beginning and then I moved into the Canon world which is the best world. I love Canon, I actually love Canon but for video I always go for Sony. If we're talking like a small camera, Sony. Boom. If we're talking like photography then I stick with my Canon. So yeah I do have my other camera still, I only use it for like photography because I generally feel like Canons are better at photography. Um, and I have a really beautiful lens on it. It's a 25 to 70 millimeter L series, which is like the lens of life. Seriously invest in that lens. It is just, oh, it's just beautiful. For videos now, I shoot, if I'm shooting smaller budget shoots, then I use my Sony um, A6500, 16 to 70 millimeter Carl Zeiss lens. What is your favourite camera and lens choice for a cinematic shot? If I could shoot everything on one camera, one lens, it would be anamorphic lenses and an Ari Alexa. If anybody wants to buy me a Christmas present, please buy me an Alexa or an Alexa Mini and some anamorphic lenses. Oh, that whole package there. We used an Alexa Mini and anamorphic lenses when we shot my western on the go video. Just beautiful, I just love them so much. What do you like to shoot for yourself for fun, not work, vlog, music videos, blah, blah, blah. I love shooting documentaries now. I love a documentary, I just think they're wicked. We're currently working on a documentary at the moment about two young women who are married. They were living in Liverpool, they've moved to London now, but it was so, it was just amazing. I loved it. I really, really enjoyed it. And that sparked off me starting my own documentary series, which I can't wait to get out. It'll come out soon. Obviously, I've just started doing my vlogs. If you haven't checked out my vlogs, check it out somewhere on this YouTube page. That's just one of my goals in life, to be able to just travel and create really cool vlogs with more of a cinematic feel to them. What are some of your British filmmakers you're feeling right now? Ah. <sighs> People always ask me about British people and it's so bad, but I don't really have any. But I did discover yesterday a woman called, oh man, I forgot her name. I don't really look up to British filmmakers, if I'm honest. I'm more into the Americans, or we could say the French, Roman Gavris. Okay, my other favorite director is Melina Makasutas. Oh my God, I hope I pronounced that right. Melina is, I met Melina years ago. I couldn't even speak. I was just like, that's Melina. She has done so many music videos. She's executive producer and sometimes directs episodes of Insecure. Who else do I like director wise? Oh my God, Ava. What? How can I forget Ava? She does more documentary and film style uh, directing. She's goals, man. I love Ava. And if you had to choose someone to direct your future biopic, who would it be and why? I would be super cheeky and ask for two people and it would be Ava and Melina. I love the style of Melina's shooting, like I love the colours that she uses. She's very like artistic. Solange is her best friend, so like they have this really good um, eye for like, you know, like symmetrical stuff and 
and style and stuff so i would love her to direct part of it and obviously ava because i feel like ava really 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 knows how to do her research she can educate people on a subject so well the last question is from look at her hair underscore maybe two i'm not sure what makes you feel like what you do is right thing for you i feel or i know that directing and filmmaking is the right thing for me because i would literally do it for free that's how i know that it's my thing there's a different kind of satisf satisfaction that i get from being on set and creating something i realized that when i did my western video shoot because that is still up to today my favorite bit of work that i've ever done that feeling that i had on set the whole day leading up to it obviously there was times when i was a bit stressed out or something wasn't working but overall the feeling i had when i saw that finished piece even though I was a little bit upset because I didn't get all my shots that I needed to finish the story to be continued. I wish I'd put that at the end. I just, there's an unexplainable feeling that I have when I'm creating something. I know that this is my skill that I've been given and I know that this is my purpose. I literally just love it. Like I love it so much and I would do it every single day. I mean, I have been doing it every single day. Like I stopped working when I was 18. I gave up my job. I was doing photography full time, struggling as, oh my God, struggle was real. We're slowly getting there, slowly getting there. The thought of doing something else, I'm just like, that doesn't involve film or some sort of photography or some sort of camera. The only other thing that I feel like I would really want to do is interior design, designing houses and the art, like doing the architecture of a house and building it and then doing the, the interior. But then I would want to like shoot a video of it and shoot photography of it after it's done as well. I wake up every day and I'm just so grateful that I get to do what I want to do every day. It's just amazing. So that's how I know it's right for me. And I invest so much into myself to learn so much about this. When you really love something, that's when you'll really go out your way to teach yourself things. All I do is eat, sleep and breathe anything to do with filmmaking and photography. Okay guys, so that was my Q&A done. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions, send me an email, send me a DM. Um, my socials are all below in the description along with my email. Hopefully we will come back soon and do another Q&A. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe.